League. Okay. Playing crew battles to get into uh, Big House. Awesome. For um, yeah, for uh, the uh, the melee games. Okay. So yeah, right off the bat, we have another yeah, as you said, another Marth uh, Fox matchup. Yeah. We'll see how these people play differently. Uh, right now, Pisces definitely shield grabbing a lot more. Ooh. Yeah, that was a nice combo. That is a dirty Kenneth combination. Yeah, it's very tough there as a Fox to DI out. It doesn't look like a situation that you should DI out, but it is what you're supposed to do. And uh, Pisces caught him holding in. Clean conversion gets the stock. Dude, Crouch cancel grab. That weak air is not going to cut it, even at like 60%. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting enough, uh, Pisces lost 2 0 against uh, Fly. Right. So let's see what adjustments he makes against the Fox this time. Yeah, we'll see. So far, Pisces and. Oh, well, they're actually quite even. I love how he baited out that nice jump. Nice spacing into a forward tipper. Yeah. He looked for the jump and he didn't get it actually immediately. Dude, I'm seeing what the problem is right now is that uh, Pisces' recovery already getting caught on to. Luckily for him, his offense has been so excellent yeah. that it hasn't mattered that much yet. But he is getting kicked in the face on these double jumps he's throwing out. Yeah. Kevin looking, Maples is already caught on. You're looking at a night and day type of players with Marth. Yeah, with Patreon much more defensive. Pisces a lot more aggro. Yeah. Like, he will toss fares. He'll try to poke your shield. He'll do everything. Like, a Patron got hit off stage at zero, I was not afraid he was going to die. I'm actually, like, if, if Kevin Maple shines him off stage, I am very afraid that Pisces is going to die. Similar to, like, Chillin' when we watched against Free Palestine. Yeah. Like, I like I just can feel that Kevin Maple has already got the recovery locked and loaded, like, ready to be punished. Misses the Marth Slayer. Yep. Catches the side B, going to kick him again. Wow, Kevin Maple is turning it around, possibly? Gonna, oh, oh, he should have wow, rolled up. The final second. And just like that, you miss an edge guard against Marth, and you are going to get punished just like wow. that. That was very nice. I'm surprised the players don't go for the uh, the counter. Yeah, um, I was a little bit surprised there, too. Sometimes when the Fox is a little bit away from the stage, they can go straight up and dodge the counter. Um, but I think there he could have countered, it's true. I know from experience I used to play with KJH a lot in my region, yep. and I stopped countering because he would... Whoa. Yeah, that was crazy. Hold on. This, this could be the stock. This could be game one. Nice get-up attack. Oh. That was kind of wild. This, that's, this is so back and forth. Yeah. Nice run-up grab. Kevin Maples looking for this up throw up air, looking for an up smash. Ooh. That, he jumps. He jumps. Oh, that was great. so smart. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I don't think he needed to do that. No, he did But that not. was a really smart way to finish the game. Okay. I think he re like he was like I think he has his jump and then at the end he's like oh wait he doesn't but I'm already on the ledge I can't Marth killer so he went for the drop down back air very smart decision takes game one we're going straight into game two into uh, final destination yeah I can already tell that this might be a problem for Pisces he is SDI zero up airs this set and if you cannot SDI Fox's up throw up air this stage you can get kind of run over sometimes as Marth. Yep. Looks like his punish game, like his punish game has been great. No complaints on that front. So if he can just keep the game looking like this, it's going to be fine. But I'm a little bit worried about his recovery, man. Nice. Oh, okay. Beautiful. He baited out the early up B with yeah. the Marth killer. I and mean, I like that, that he made good. it simple, too. Yeah, it was a pretty good option. Like, he just uh, he just kicked him. He didn't try to shine him. He didn't grab ledge. Yep. Just like, I'm just going to kick you and make this as easy as possible. Keep it simple. Nice up airs. Ooh, a string of up airs. That's going to catch 60% into yeah. a death. I can tell you that uh, Kevin Maples needs to be, like, SDIing up there. You need to get far enough up that you're not getting re-grabbed or F-smashed or up-tilted 80 times. Yep, yep. When you get stuck in that height where you could get Ken comboed or F-smashed, that's how you die on this stage 100% of the time. Ooh, Kevin, spacing. Kevin Maples is just turning on offense. He's, there's, I don't think he has a defense mode. Yeah. I actually think Kevin Maples didn't expect... Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, that would have been... Devastating. That was great DI from Pisces. Oh no. Yeah, okay, Kevin Maples tried to go to a little defensive just doing those dash dances, but yeah, Pisces you're, catches him. Like, you're not uh, shielding, bro. Like, if you're not shielding, I'm gonna swing my club and it's gonna hit you. It's a pretty sharp club, I Yeah, say. it's a pretty sharp club. 
Marth turns into the caveman sometimes. You, know? <laughs> you just you just dash dance in front of him. That's not something you want to do with him. Nice spacing. When he's not gonna, but like when you do dash dance like Kevin Maples just did, you get him to start swinging the club, which if you play the right way, can be very good for you. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You want him to toss out, and you want those recovery animations so you can get in there and be fast and just do whatever. Yeah, very, very much easier to punish an F smash than a fair. You know, absolutely. Oh, oh just that's missed by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and see how high he is. Now he doesn't get F-Smash. That was really good DI by Kevin Maples. Unfortunately, Pisces, when you're above Marth, that doesn't mean you're safe. And Pisces got a really good conversion with that back air and closed out the stock. Yeah, That's Pisces. the tough part about FD, dude. There's nowhere to go. Pisces is, is he's locked in now. Yeah. He's tasted blood and now he's trying to make it a run. But Kevin Maples, utilizing a new play style, before he just aggro, look, look at that, he just ate a fair and an F-Smash. Yeah. So he needs to learn defensive play on the spot right now if he wants to, and he needs to do it well. Yeah. Otherwise, Pisces will run train on him as well. Right, we saw this situation last game, right? 1-1, one, one, counter pick, dream one. Yep. And it was a three star. One thing that I'm noticing, like, as a Marth player, I use certain moves like a down tilt or like retreating fair as a way of gathering info, right? I want to see what happens when it hits you, like what you do. And Kevin Maples is always running away after he gets like down tilted. Yep. And that's why you're seeing Pisces hit like so many F smashes and grabs like that. Yep. Because he's like said, he knows that if you get hit by a weak move, you're going to disengage, like jump or run away. And I'm going to punish you just like that. And that type of knowledge, especially on a big stage like Dreamland, where you throw out a lot of poking moves, is very important. Very nice conversion. That should be a stock. Peppers him on with a bit of percentage, but. Yeah, hit him with the Quattro. 4% <laughs> real quick. Ooh, misses. Quite even right now as it is, yeah. but. Uh, nice tech chase. See again, like he hits him with a weak move and he's just afraid. He spot dodges. Yep. Catches him coming out the corner and again, expecting the Ken combo. Good DI mix up. I'm really liking the way Pisces is playing. Yeah, Pisces, uh, he knows his. Uh, whoa! Except for the recovery. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Maples yeah. is in his head off stage. I don't know why he was off stage at that point, but I mean, yeah. anyways. Yeah, Pisces, he has his uh, punish game, he has his, uh, he has his offense on point. Yeah. His defense, both players could use a little bit more uh, labbing with defense, I have yeah. to say. To Kevin Maples' credit, he's getting a lot of grabs, which against Marth is not easy to do. Um, he, he's edge guarding well. There is the counter I'm looking for. Yeah, the problem is, yeah, when he gets hit, he explodes. And that is not a thing, that is not a quality you want to have against Marth. Yep. Down throw, tech chasing. Nice dash dancing, keeping himself open for those uh, opportunities. Yeah, oh that is that is the classic. God. Hit wow. him with it. Enjoy your moment on stream, baby. Oof. Let him know. Let's go, Pisces. Yeah, that was a great conversion. Oh. Wow, Kevin Maples opting to go Falcon. Falco, excuse me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think that the character was really the problem. I just felt like, you know, when Pisces was getting knocked down, he never just attacks, you know? Like, he never just attacks when they're just in a true 50-50 situation. Yeah. If he does that with Falco, it's going to work out for him. All right, Kevin Maple's looking a little more... Sh I wouldn't say shook, but he missed a pillar. Yeah. Which, I see, which I see most... Falcons land like on a consistent basis. To me, he's looking more anxious, which makes sense because he was starting to just get bodied in the true neutral situations. Yeah. So he feels like the only part where he's advantaged is when he's chasing down Pisces. So right. maybe Falco will help him do that because you set up the lasers. The problem is the Pisces looks so comfortable against the lasers right now. Absolutely. And that's a stock. You're dead. You know, like four stocks well, to two, this set looks over. Not to say Kevin Maples still has a chance, not counting him out yet, but Pisces. You know, very comfortable with the Falco matchup, and he can amass a very strong uh, offense against Kevin Maples' Falco, especially now seeing that this is up 4 nothing. What? Beside yeah. me! And this is a turnaround. Like, Fox can shine Marth and kill him. Falco doesn't have an option like that where he can just jump off and hit Marth with a move. Yeah. Um, so you're seeing him really start to struggle Marth where before it was easy with Fox. Oh, nice pressure. Good laser. Okay, Kevin Maple's starting to turn it up. A little slow start on his offense, but... Oh, wow! I expected Pisces to grab? Yeah, he pushed into the ledge, which ended up being exactly what Kevin Maple's wanted. Great wave shine. That was a really clean wave dash. Laser down tilt, catching the shield grab. 
Good yeah. angled up B. Up smash won't do it. <laughs> yeah. Put a tip for that. Like, oh, he's alive. That was amazing. The eye gets that setup again. The reason why Kevin Maples is up being high like that is because when Marth jabs, oh. if you up, if you side beat his head, it hits his head. Um, that was an odd interaction. Yes. <laughs> DBZ. It was. That was like the reverse DBZ going north south instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. All right. Two stocks to one. Kevin Maples starting to play a little better with this Falco, but I can tell you Pisces is about to be as annoying as possible. He's going to sit yeah. in the corner, shield grab, force Kevin Maples to beat him. And he's making Kevin Maples go aggro. Kevin which... Maples is currently beating him on this stock. I will say that was very impressive. Wow. And he brought it back. This could be the turning point. Yeah. But Pisces looking to close this out, not trying to get into a game three. Game three. Where are you going? He went so far away. Wow, he got back to the stage. That was an amazing ASTI down jab, I will say, and that's going to close out the set. That was an excellent showing from Kevin Maples. You know, he really shows he's strong, he's smart, he can quickly adapt. 